Today we are going to be looking at how animal superpowers work, explaining them in more detail than you would usually find online. Starting off with octopi, who have the ability to camouflage themselves based on their surroundings to decrease the likelihood they are seen by predators. How does it actually work though? They have these specialised cells called chromatophores, which contain sacs, and in these sacs there are pigment colours like black, red, yellow. The chromatophores can be contracted to allow more of the pigment to be visible, or relax the cells to reduce their visibility. They are connected to the nervous system of the octopus, and just by looking at something it can change its colours to mimic what it's looking at by contracting and expanding the chromatophores. I thought it was going to be something way more mechanical and complex, but it's just muscle contraction and relaxation which is almost cooler in a way. Next up we have the immortal jellyfish, which has the ability to live forever. The name is actually misleading though, because it does die, but at the end of every life cycle it revives to a younger stage, so it kind of is immortal, but not really. This process actually starts in the same way that caterpillars metamorphosize, except that the jellyfish start as larvae and metamorphosize into something that's called a polyp, which to jellyfish is a stage of life, but to you and me is the precursor to arse cancer, Life works in mysterious ways, I guess. These polyps, the jellyfish, not the arse cancer, stick to rocks on the sea floor and clone themselves, covering the area in polyps. The polyps then bloom, releasing hundreds of baby jellyfish, which grow and become immortal jellyfish. When those jellyfish die, they fall to the sea floor and turn into polyps, again repeating the cycle. Now I know what you're thinking. Sea cucumbers sound pretty boring and useless, right? Wrong. They can violently shit out their intestines in order to trap you while they escape, and can also liquefy their entire body and solidify it again, to fit into small crevices and evade predators. Their intestine shotgun can actually be reloaded, and every two weeks they're able to eviscerate, which is the scientific term for violently shitting out your intestines. The way that they actually do it is through violent muscle contraction, forcing fluid from their intestines into their cloaca, which is essentially their all in one hole. This built up pressure ruptures the cloaca, forcing all of their intestines and organs outwards towards whatever they were aiming at. The sea cucumber then regenerates their organs by essentially reverting mature cells into stem cells that can differentiate into any type of cell. Stem cells are the real deal. Stem cell therapy can cost anywhere between tens to hundreds of thousands, and here are these cucumbers doing it for free. Uraba lugens, otherwise known as the gum leaf skeletona, is a caterpillar that has a unique feature of stacking its own skull like a Jenga tower. The reason why they do this is to make themselves larger to predators and might discourage them or as a sort of false head that predators attack whilst the caterpillar escapes. It's done through molting, like many other animals with exoskeletons. When the animal outgrows its current exoskeleton, it releases enzymes to digest the inner layer of its own skin so it can detach from it. Stacking skulls and eating their own flesh is not something I thought I would be associating with a caterpillar, but here we are. When the caterpillars turn into moths, they're basically just the same as any other moth though, so I guess the emo thing really was just a phase. Now we have the wolverine frog, which is a central African frog with the ability to extend and retract claws from its fingers. It's also got sideburns that would put Hugh Jackman to shame. All in all, the closest thing we have to a real life wolverine. The claws it extends aren't actually claws though, they're bones that snap and force out through their skin. The frog has muscles underneath the bone that contract quickly causing the bone to break and pierce out through the skin. The bone claws connected to cartilage in the finger that speculated to retract during the regeneration process. These claws are used for fighting off predators and even for extra grip on surfaces. The claws however are pretty weak, so if he was put on the X-Men, I'm not sure that he would last that long. The water boatman is a pond insect that has a pretty straightforward name, as it swims in ponds under the surface like a boat. But that's not why it's on this list. The other power that it has is its ability to use its penis like a violin bow against its abdomen to create a noise that is almost 100 decibels loud, which is the equivalent of a chainsaw being used about a meter away from your ears. You hear all this and must be wondering, what does it actually sound like? Well, here it is. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing, but that's not the only thing that's disappointing, as the tool that it uses is only 50 microns long. 
Our last animal ability that we're going to be explaining will be the Appalachian millipede that can basically turn itself into a cyanide gas grenade. They emit cyanide poison from their glands around their legs which gives them that distinct almond smell that is associated with cyanide. They do this through enzyme catalysis of mandelonitriles, creating benzaldehyde and hydrogen cyanide. The cyanide is then secreted from glands in the sides of their body. I also learned that a bird can take like 23.7 mg per kilogram of cyanide, whereas humans can only take 1.5 mg per kilogram. So a bird eating a millipede would probably be fine, but a human not so much. Which makes sense given that most birds aren't real. You might be thinking you're safe because you don't live near the Appalachian Mountains, but most millipedes release the same cyanide or other toxic compounds. So have fun with that knowledge I guess the next time you're in a forest. If you like these types of videos, consider subscribing and maybe hit the like button. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.